Hi everyone, thanks for dropping by today for this physical distancing jewellery workshop and we've got loads of different workshops that you can experience. Today I wanted to show you how to make these earrings step by step. Uh, we've got a central brass stamping leaf which is amazing for sustainable style because brass is the most eco of all metals. Um, it has a few delicate Chirovsky crystals at the bottom and a check glass bead at the top in malachite, green being my favourite colour. They're also available in a cherry red and also in black. So I'll show you step by step how to make them. But this jewellery course is not just about um, you purchasing kits, it's also about inspiring you to make your own designs and just being creative in these really uncertain times. So basically, um, if you've got some beads at home, please be inspired and create your own designs. Um, I just love showing you how easy it is to make earrings. Um, as an educator and designer, I want to inspire all of my students to be better makers and better designers. And I look forward to inspiring you with many more projects. So if you're making the earrings that I'm wearing, then you'll need to lay out your design the way that it is designed. So we've got an ear part at the top, followed by a check glass bead, a beautiful leaf connector, and we've got two Shirosky small bicones. One in an 8mm and one in a 4mm. So to begin with, we need to use a head pin. So a head pin has a stopper at one end. It looks like a dressmaker's pin. It's not sharp. So we'll thread that on. So first bead is on. Now the wire is actually quite long, so we do need to trim it. So we're using our cutters. So back of the cutter closest to our work. And we want to have approximately one centimeter to form the loop. So cut the excess. And then we're using our round nose pliers, which are pointy pliers. Palm facing up so we can get a full rotation of the wrist. And we're working horizontally, not vertically. So we can see the bead and the line of sight. So rotating our wrist around, we form a loop and we're not closing it. Then we're threading through the eye pin and then we're going to close that loop. Once it's closed, we can thread on the next bead. Again, working horizontally, using approximately a centimeter of wire, cut the excess. Round those pliers, palm facing up tip of the wire, tip of the wire and plier, rotate your wrist around and then thread the stamping from front to back. Close it. Thread on the check glass bead. Again, centimetre of wire, cut the excess, rotate your wrist around to form a loop, thread it through the leaf connector from the front to the back. This continental lever isn't um, secure, which means that the solder mark, we can just rotate using our plier to open, thread it through the loop of the last bead, and then close it. And that's half of your pair of earrings. They're pretty stunning. Let's repeat that again. We're using the pin that looks like a dressmaker pin, so it's got um, an end that is flat and it's not sharp. Thread the smallest Shirovsky crystal on, 
trim a centimeter form a loop we're not closing it though thread through an eye pin now we close it thread your tool in close it thread the next bead on trim so you've got a centimeter to work with tip of the wire tip of the plier rotate your wrist around thread it through front to back close it thread through the large check glass bead trim so you've got one centimeter of wire to form the loop create the circle so you've got a nice loop thread through from front to back and then close it so it's completely secure again the same thing here twist open thread it through the loop of the bead close it to secure amazing so that's your pair of earrings Ta -da! now along with all of the components that you need for making the earrings you won't get the tools or a bead mat so if you don't have a bead mat you could use a towel just so the beads don't run everywhere um, we also put in your pack a bookmark and on the back is a very handy ruler so when I talk about measuring a centimeter you can use this in addition to that you will also receive two instructionals one on how to link beads and one on how to create the bead drop which is the first bead that we um, connected and we also will throw in a beautiful booklet and it has lots of information about beads and techniques and design inspiration for us it's really important that you know where your beads are from how they're made uh, where they're sourced because sustainable style is important to us at Echelage so if you're not um, creating this kit step by step I hope that I've inspired your own DIY creations and I look forward to seeing what you create um, hopefully you've gleaned a few tips as well and um, please um, stay safe during our um, physical distancing and thanks for stopping by.